one of the names of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in the Quran. So this is a name that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows upon him, his Habib وسلم, is Al Bayyana. Al Bayyana means the clear evidence, something that is obvious. And this is amazing. I mean, just just the name of the Prophet وسلم, his name is a sign uh, of his nabuwa is a sign to humanity. Muhammad وسلم, the most praised one. And he is the most praised of all humanity. This is just factual, right? Uh, he is al bayyana He is uh, a clear sign for Ahl al-Kitab. Uh, his his, uh, his uh, clan is Bani Hashim. Hashim in Hebrew means the name. This is how Jews refer to Allah. Right, uh, the um, the the name of God, Hashem in Hebrew means the name, literally, right? Because the name of God in Hebrew is is four letters, so the two root letters are a ha and a wow or a hua, right? Imam Al Razi he says that the ism al adam of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is contained in the ayat al Kursi, wal hayy al qayyum, right? And so they say Hashem, so that's the name of his clan. These are indications. The name of his tribe is Quraysh. Quraysh is uh, Cyrus in Hebrew, who, according to many ulama, is Dul Qarnain, who is praised in the books of Ahlul Kitab, Isaiah chapter 45, just three chapters later, uh, three, three chapters before that, Isaiah 42, you have a perfect description of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of these are indications. One of the greatest of the Israelite kings uh, he's called, he, his name was Hezekiah, but he's described as Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. And he had, it says, Hamisra al Shikhmo. He had some symbol or some uh, birthmark between his shoulder blades. And the Prophet, he has this. this, this is, th these are all indications. Um, it's mentioned in the books of Ahl al Kitab that a sign of the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, amongst the Bani Israel at the time of Musa alayhi salam is that there would be a cloud. Uh, uh, shading the Bani Israel as they were traveling. And of course, we know when the Prophet وسلم, was young, uh, he went to uh, to uh, the Levant with Abu Talib and Bahira the monk, he noticed that this this cloud was shading this caravan. And he knew because this is a this is a Christian scholar, right? He knew that this is a, a portent, an indication. And he saw the men sitting down and he saw a palm tree bend its trunk to shade a young man who was sitting amongst the men. And he called him into his chambers and he said to him, I'm going to ask you a question in the name of Alat and Al-Uzza. And the Prophet وسلم, he said, no names are more detestable to me than these two names. So he knew this is a Mawahid. These are all indications. I heard today, just today. Was it today or yesterday? It was today. The days are, you know, this is what happens at the end of time. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I think it was today, somebody sent me something and a Catholic priest became Muslim. A Catholic priest, right? This is happening, mashallah, it seems like we're getting these shahadas uh, on a regular basis. They're happening all over the world. People are coming to realize that he, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, was who he said he was. And we have believed in him, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And he is clear evidence. And he is the, the light, he is nur. Nur means guidance in the Quran. And he's described as nur. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us, uh, continue to guide us and continue to make us a means of guidance for the people of these lands. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and bless us and forgive us and forgive our children. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alayhi wa sallam wa alhamdulillah wa rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.